much quicker, and that can only spell good things for the New Orleans Saints. Meanwhile, the how about them Cowboys starting option quarterback Quincy Carter against two bunks quarterback Brad Johnson deep in the heart of Texas. Johnson to Johnson, not a Band-Aid. Brad to Keyshawn on a third down, first down completion. And then a four-yard pass to work done now. Yeah, but you look at the shots the receivers are taking when the ball is being delivered. Yes, those are completions, but certainly you like to rethink the way in which he's getting them the football. Johnson 8 for 8 in the first drive, although the guys are getting slammed a little. Meanwhile, Krinsky Carter, well, he can add a little excitement. He's got good escape ability. It's a nice 17-yard run down to the three. Yeah, it, it would appear that actually this is what Quincy Carter does best, that ability to get out of the pocket and make something happen. Emmett Smith on third and goal, down 3 nothing. And look at the play by Brian Kelly and then John Lynch to finish him off. Hold him to a field goal, 3-3 at the half. It's 6-3 Dallas until Brad Johnson sneaks in the fourth quarter to make it 10-6. Then with the same score, fourth Emmett. Oh, look at John Lynch and Derek Brooks. <laughs> Can't say we're surprised. That's Anthony McFarland right there in the square in the target. Look, look at the push that he gets upfield. He forces the, the back, Emmett Smith, to have to go deeper than he wants. And then the lateral speed of the Buccaneers catches up with him. And what a great play and a big hit by Derek Brooks and John Lynch. He's one of those guys coming on, McFarland. And then Carter's pass uh, tipped and intercepted by John Lynch. So the usual names on defense surface outstanding for Tampa Bay. You know what? He played all right. Dallas goes into this against Tampa Bay with a big talent discrepancy, you would think. And you get a win on the road is fine, Tom. And Tampa Bay's defense holds Dallas to eight first downs, but not a great start. Well, I, I think everybody is expecting more. The expectations are very high for the Buccaneers, but again, a win on the road to open your season. You're satisfied with that. If you're Coach Dungy, you try to improve next week. They give up only 127 yards on defense. You'll take your chance.